Well, hey, everyone, and welcome to the Sisterhood Podcast. My name is Megan Brusicki, and I'm so glad that you are joining us today for this podcast. We're going to talk about prayer today. Our church, Alive Church, has been in a series called Teach Us to Pray, talking about different aspects of prayer and seeking God and what that means for our lives. And so today, I've got some of my friends with me, and we're going to have a conversation about prayer, about how do we pray, what do we pray, when do we pray, all of those things. And um, just hope that it's encouraging to everyone uh, to talk about this important part of being a Christian, of talking to God in prayer. And so today I've got with me Sarah Boyle and Amanda Boys, and their names are like little tongue twisters to try to say them together at the same time. Um, and they are leaders in our church. They are good friends of mine, and they are some of the awesome help behind the scenes of this podcast. So thank you both for being here today. And uh, we did not intentionally plan this, <laughs> but did. on Wednesdays, we wear green. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Apparently, today was the day. I think, I don't know if it's because St. Patrick's Day is close, right. yeah. and yeah. it's just on our minds. I don't usually dress for St. Patrick's Day, but it was a little fun for us to all walk in wearing a different shade yeah, of green exactly. today. Right. So we're on the same page, we're on the same we wavelength, are. We are, but yeah. glad you both are here Thank today. Yeah, we're going to kick yeah. off with a fun question just to get the conversation going. So we're right in the middle of like winter turning mm -hmm. to spring, and would you rather spend a weekend in a tropical paradise or a snow heaven? Snow I would heaven. probably snow haven, snow haven, snow, <laughs> snow, snow haven, or snow heaven. It could Maybe it's heaven for you. Yeah. Either you know, like spring break is coming, <laughs> and people either are like going to the mountains, it's or like going to the beach. It's true. Where would you go? I'm definitely tropical paradise tropical. all the way. I don't like to be cold, and I like to look at snow and it'd be pretty. But I love the beach. <laughs> I love being warm, and yeah, that would be. Like all the beautiful, like a beautiful sea where you can see mm. blue water. Yes, yeah. clear water you can see through. But that would be my absolutely ideal. You're like tropical the paradise. Beach. Yeah, they, like pretty much identical. I love the beach. I grew up going to the beach. I go to the beach all the time. So it's the beach. Yeah, I would go to the snow. snow. I would if I could. <laughs> we're going on a spring break this next week. We're gonna go. We're gonna be in St. Louis. We're gonna be with our St. Louis campus mm -hmm. and spend some time there with some friends. And I'm excited about that. But if I was picking, I would be skiing. Yeah, I love the snow. I love the snow specifically for skiing or watching the snow. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of cold. If it's just gonna yeah, be cold, I'm, I'm like right, right. cold. At least there's, there's gotta snow, be feet of snow. And to do. people lied to me and said that this was the winter <laughs> that Virginia was getting Aww, snow, and we didn't snow. get any. Snow. Apparently, the farmer's almanac or something, and we got nothing. Wrong. Not My even kids were like so a snowflake. I said, so they said, you know, I don't think we're going to get snow, Mommy and Daddy. And they were really disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I know. I guess. Uh, no, we, I don't think so. <laughs> maybe we should have prayed harder. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> more snow. For you, because it's snow <laughs> heaven. <laughs> For you. We should have prayed harder. Or Next snow year. heaven. Snow I'm, not sure. heaven? Right. I'm not sure I know the difference. <laughs> That's great. That's Amazing. Great. All right, well, as we kick off this um, conversation about prayer, I wanted to share one of my favorite verses about prayer. Philippians 4 Verse 6 and 7 says, Don't worry about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I love this verse. I go back to this verse yeah. all the time when I'm thinking about prayer and what I what I want from God, what I'm expecting from God. And, mm -hmm. and you know, this promise that he gives us peace, yeah. that we can invite him into mm -hmm. every situation, that we can experience his presence no matter if it's good, if it's bad, if it's hard, if we're seeing the outcome we want or not, his promise is peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. His promise is his presence. So we'll start off with a question, um, just how has prayer impacted your lives? It's been huge. I think even just like my relationship with God as I look back, to see my journey with him. Mm -hmm. That is, I think, like what has sealed my relationship with him because mm -hmm. that's where I've learned how to trust him, mm -hmm. that he's there, that he is that like wonderful counselor when all the things feel like they're overwhelming me, when I'm worried, when I go back to that place of just me and him in prayer, that's where I feel like the most vulnerable, mm -hmm. where I can cry. That's where I've cried the most in my life, just experiencing his faithfulness to me and that comfort, but yeah. then also like, the courage that comes out of that yeah. place and the the boldness that comes out of that, that if 
I didn't have that place of prayer. I don't know where yeah. I'd be now mm-hmm. because of that. So, yeah. like, I think I've learned who God is through, mm-hmm. through I prayer. love that picture of, like, going to God with our weakness and our vulnerability mm-hmm. and leaving with strength. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. that's good. I think for mine, it's a boldness. Mm-hmm. I I used to pray out loud, but I I didn't really feel like it was as important. And as I've grown in my walk with Christ and as I've gotten older, I love to pray out loud. I think that it it almost, well, first, I think it helps you from distraction yeah. because you're actually talking out loud and it's yes. not a thought that's yeah. going in your yeah. mind. Yes. And then I think that, it helps us almost hear that that thing that we're really mm-hmm. wanting or that mm-hmm. thing that we're thanking God for and we're we're hearing it and we're saying it and it's mm-hmm. like two of those sensory pieces together That's i think good. just kind of seals it mm-hmm. and then the i think the even greater thing for me is my reliance on him yeah. i used to find myself asking people to pray for me mm-hmm. or you know my husband or a friend instead of going to God first. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. that reliance of, of let's pray first. Yeah, that's good. I think yeah. about that a lot too. Just, you know, there's times when like a situation happens or, you know, I'm going through something or feeling feeling something. Yeah. And like my, my first instinct can be to call a friend, mm-hmm. yeah. to text my mom, you know, like just yeah. to, to reach out to a person who's gonna, like I can get that feedback I'm looking right. for. I can get that comfort I'm looking for. And as I've grown in my walk with God, recognizing that like actually i get that in the in the secret place in the place with him where he can fill me and strengthen me and encourage me in a way that like no other person actually can fill that Mm -hmm. that's so awesome and it's i think like you even had mentioned this a couple weeks ago when you were um on sunday when you were preaching your message that that we have to get to that like we have to go through mm. the journey because sometimes I think it's we want that quick fix. Yes. Mm. Like, right. I want somebody to tell me what to do. I need to know what yeah. to do what right now. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. I've experienced where like it's getting past that that point where I'm like, I don't really feel like going there today, mm-hmm. but say no, okay, yeah. I feel like God's saying I need to. Mm-hmm. So yeah. just sitting mm-hmm. and whether it be like talking out loud, journaling, getting to that point where it's come down to the root of what's yeah. going mm-hmm. on. Yeah. And then it turns. Yeah. 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 And there's a truth to that. Like, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Like, I'm, I can Probably be an external <laughs> processor. <laughs> yes. You know, yeah. and like saying things out loud. Sometimes you say them out loud and you kind of surprise yourself. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, I didn't realize that's how I felt. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or, well, yeah, you know, me. I'm like, I didn't know that was in there. Yeah. And it comes out and you actually work it out yes. Yes. in your conversation yeah. with God. Yeah. And yeah. a really safe place mm-hmm. to, man, say what you really think. Right. Right. Say what you really yeah. feel. Yeah. You know, that's a conversation that I've had with a few people, specifically as we've been going through this series on prayer. Um, a few weeks ago, I spoke on on the persistent widow and, you know, getting honest with yes. God. Yeah. Like, we just need to be honest. Yeah. Like, He can yeah. handle it, yeah. right? right? He can handle my anger. He can handle my disappointment. He yeah. can handle my frustration. Mm-hmm. Um, has that been something that y'all have had to learn? Or do you feel like you have that, you know, where you just like, I, I feel like it's okay for me to bring all of it to God. I think it is something that I've learned. I don't think it naturally came. It was kind of like, well, God doesn't want me to be angry at Him, or God doesn't want me to feel this towards Him. Mm -hmm. And there have been times where I've prayed, and I didn't get the answer that I wanted, Mm -hmm. or God said no. And then, of course, there's been times where He said yes, or advance here, don't go there. Mm -hmm. And it's it's hard, and I truly believe He wants our honesty. He wants us to come to Him and say, God, i I don't like what's happening. Mm -hmm. I am upset. I asked you to do this and you didn't. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a rawness and that vulnerability of continue to go to him with that frustration. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times we hold back and we don't want to be vulnerable with him. And then we fester in it longer. And then that affects our prayer life. And then we don't Mm -hmm. want to pray anymore. Mm -hmm. And so... With that vulnerability and with going to him being honest, I just keep saying, keep praying, mm-hmm. keep going yeah. after it, keep yeah. pressing in because he's going to either change your heart or he's going to change the scenario. Mm-hmm. And or he might oh, change your direction, right? Mm-hmm. right. And you know? a lot of times he changes us yeah. and we, d- we didn't ask for him to, right. but with us continuing to partner and continuing to pray through mm-hmm. that, then he does something, yeah. Yeah, I think the the hardest 
for me has been when it's something towards God. So I've been mm. disappointed because mm. maybe I didn't see something or discouraged yeah. because I thought something was going to look a certain way. Those are the times that in the past or it has been a journey to realize, no, that's when he wants us to go. Yeah. So he can remind us yeah. that, no, I'm good. No, I'm faithful. Mm-hmm. And I think pulling in scripture with that mm-hmm. helps because yeah. when we're just kind of going like this and we can listen and hear the Lord, but um, knowing scripture, he's going to start putting those mm-hmm. scriptures on our heart yeah. if we have it on our heart. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it might, you know, or we need to go and you dig. Find, yeah, mm-hmm. and I think yeah. that, um, you know, the Psalms of Lament, the Psalms of a lot of David's right. Psalms, you know, he's like, <laughs> God, what? What's what going is on? going on? Yeah. Like, everyone's trying to kill me, you know, and he's really honest. And I think yeah. sometimes we feel like almost shame mm-hmm. about not being yes. grateful. Yeah. Or like, if yeah. I say, if I express frustration with my situation, then, you know, I'm not grateful or I don't want to complain all the time. I mean, how, I don't know about you girls. So I'm sure this has happened in your small groups. Um, it's happened in mine and in friendships. It's like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to ask you guys again to mm-hmm. pray for this yeah. thing. I don't want, like, we feel this intense, like yeah. that we're burdening yeah. people by having things that are going on in our yeah. life that we need to bring yeah. to the Lord, yeah. you know? And I think sometimes we think, well, I just need to be grateful. And mm-hmm. when we go to the Psalms of Lament, when we go to the Psalms of David and we see like, he was honest. Yeah. And then he spoke the truth of who yeah. knew who knew God yeah. was and he brought himself back to a place of, you know, confidence in God's character, mm-hmm. right? So like we can be honest, we can pour it all out yeah. and we can we can allow God to st- turn our hearts back. And I love what you him. said how David lamented, but then he said the truth of God. Mm-hmm. And that's where don't just complain to God, but let's even remind ourselves, like we talked about, talking out loud mm-hmm. and saying, no, I know that you're faithful. I know that you're trustworthy. I know that you have good plans for me. And not just, God, why? <laughs> you know? What? You can start there. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. But let's not end there. No, right. And I let's think that's, I yeah. think not that's staying the in that yeah. place mm-hmm. yeah. of discouragement yeah. or anger yes. or yeah. fear. Right. Right. And, yeah. you know, it is an inviting people into that, mm-hmm. you know, that— not being a burden or mm-hmm. asking, mm-hmm. like, I should have overcome this by now. Yeah. Like, right. I know that I've thought that before. Mm-hmm. Why would I share this again? Mm-hmm. I should have gotten past this. Yeah. But that's when we're inviting people in yeah. because then that's like the public piece, I guess, of right. prayer is pulling in people to be able to pray with you. It yeah. says confess our sins to one another yeah. and pray for each other mm-hmm. so we can be healed. That's part of the healing right. process right. as well. I think it's like initially going to the Lord and then pulling people into that yeah. space. Yeah. We're not meant to just get by by ourselves. Yeah. You know, we need each other yeah. and we need to keep lifting each other up and encouraging each other. And I think we have to shut down that lie that says, I'm too much. Yeah. Yes. I'm too needy. <laughs> they don't want to hear my prayer request again, you know, because that's just not true. Yeah, like, absolutely. it's not true. We are meant to pray for each other. We want to encourage each other and be in it with each other. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one of those other things that comes in, like, what it, what does it mean to pray in community, to mm-hmm. be in community with each other, is um, to lament together. Yeah. You know, yeah. I had a situation recently where I was really down about a certain thing in my life, and I had my a friend sit with me, and she, like, spent, you know, 20 minutes or so with me in the pit of, like, yeah, this is hard. I'm sorry yeah, yeah. that it's hard. Yeah. And then— she helped me turn it back to yep. God, to God. She helped me in that process of like, hey, this is you know this. Yeah. This is who God is. You know that He's faithful. Like, remember when He did this, and like share yeah. stories of what He's yeah. done and in her life. And like before the end of that conversation, we were back up here with yeah. like, yeah, that's hard, but like God is so good. He's so yeah. faithful. He's going to come through in this. And I think the community piece mm-hmm. is that sometimes we need someone to help us yes. right. make that turn. Yeah. Yes. Right? We don't want to just stay stuck alone. Yeah. Right. And having other people in our lives, you know. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I think that it's easy for us to think, well, God wants me to come to him. But then we think, well, then that means that I don't need it other people Mm -hmm. and that's a lie just like you said sometimes we do need help and Mm -hmm. and god uses people Mm -hmm. there's one of my favorite songs right now it's called use me lord and some of the 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 song it says um i wrote it down it says it's it's the anointing don't be impressed i'm just a tool Mm -hmm. A, t- a worn instrument. Mm-hmm. And I think of that, that we are just being used as tools. And how amazing it is that God allows us to partner with our friends and to mm-hmm. participate with our friends. And then we get 
to go alongside of them in their journey too. I think that's where that community part comes in is that I get to partner and pray for you. I get to partner and pray for you. And then we see sometimes the prayer that we prayed over that friend. And it's not about me, yeah, right. but I was used as a tool. Yeah. And I, I told you guys before, the first text that I had this morning was a text from a friend that her prayer that I, I prayed a prayer over her and she was able to tell me that God answered that prayer. Awesome. And so awesome. it it's it's amazing to be a part of. It's a blessing to be a part of. And God wants to use us mm -hmm. and yeah. to be tools. Yeah. And I think it's so so crucial who those people are mm -hmm. because we can talk to anybody about anything, right. but are they going to pull us out yeah. of it? Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. we talk to, oh, this is my closest friend, but they just, they enable me, yeah. which, you know, they complain with me or yeah. say, yeah, you're right. Yeah. This is yeah. terrible. Yeah, I actually told that friend, I was like, thank you for not just complaining <laughs> yeah, with me, right, right. but actually you listened. She didn't shut me down. She mm -hmm. listened and she was with me in it. And then she reminded me of the yeah. truth. You know, I think there's a difference of like, you know, shutting someone down when they're hurting right. or complaining with them. Yeah. There's a different path where we can actually like be in it and bring them up. And and the other cool part about that too, I think like thinking about being the friend that's listening to someone mm -hmm. who's going through something is yes. like, it can feel kind of intimidating. Like, I don't, I don't have an answer. Mm, like, I don't know. Yeah. You know, you can feel this burden of like, well, I have to, I have to give them some good right. advice or I have to like help them solve this problem. Yeah. And like, we don't. Right. Like yep. our role, like you said, mm -hmm. that Warren instrument, our role is simply to bring them to Jesus, yeah. yes. you know? And like, we can all do that. Mm -hmm. We can Absolutely. all do that. I, I, I don't know how to solve your problem, right. but like, <laughs> I'll pray with right. you. Yeah. Well, let's take it to Jesus yeah. together. Right. Like you're not alone. Yeah. And it takes the pressure off of both mm -hmm. of us of feeling like we've got to sure. figure it out. For and sure. actually takes us to the one who who can do something yeah, about absolutely. it. You know, my advice is going to be limited to my knowledge. Yeah. Right. You know, but his is so so absolutely. much greater. And I think the, the thing that I love about you, Pastor Megan and Pastor Michael, is that I have personally seen you live out prayer. Mm -hmm. And I have even just a couple of examples. Like a couple of weeks ago, I couldn't find my keys. And I prayed, God, help me find my keys. And Pastor Michael came over and was like, what's going on? And I'm like, I can't find my keys. And and he immediately stopped and prayed. I didn't ask him to pray, but that's because that's the 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 head of our church. And yeah. you guys pray. There's yeah. a time that I've shared with so many people that— you and I went for a walk one time, and Wyatt fell off something, and oh, immediately yeah. he fell off a wall. Yeah, essentially. He did. <laughs> and immediately, oh yeah, <laughs> you went and you prayed over him. There was not a second thought. And I now that has changed even the way I pray mm -hmm. for people or my children in particular. How. I don't need to check over his body and see if he's okay. I'm going to pray first. Mm -hmm. And that, I just thank you mm -hmm. because you truly do model that for us. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm glad that it matters. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that one of the hang-ups, right, that, that a lot of people struggle with is like, I don't want to pray out loud. Yeah, yeah. Like, it sounds great. Right, right. Pray for my friends. <laughs> what do I say? Do I or say? I freeze up, and I'm afraid I'm going to say something wrong, and mm -hmm. I don't know what to say, and yeah. I'm intimidated, or I'm nervous, or anxious, or whatever. I mean, I think I've been there. I mean, yeah, for sure. you know, um, that was something I really had to overcome early on in my walk with the Lord in my early 20s, you know. And some of that came from my husband being like, now Megan's going to close right. this in prayer. Yeah, right? yeah. And I was like, okay, I, I guess I will. Um, which, you know, sometimes you just got to be thrown in right. and just yeah. do it and yeah. not overthink yeah. it. But I've had this conversation with one of my kids a lot lately who is hesitant to pray. And I, I've told him. The the goal of the enemy is to just get you to not even try yeah, yep, to get yeah. you to because there is power in prayer there is powering in in this and so he just wants you to be quiet to yep. just be defeated and discouraged and so I think when we keep that in mind that like actually yes. we're, we're that's it's it's like an assault on the enemy mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna just Absolutely. be defiant against him yeah. when we open our mouth yeah. Yeah. and say you know if my heart is in the right place it doesn't matter what words come out of my mouth you mm -hmm. know what I mean like mm -hmm. I, I'm. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't right. have to be eloquent. You don't have to quote scripture every right. other sentence, you right. know, like pray from your heart. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be long, yeah. you know. I think yeah. that in small groups, I don't know, I'd love to hear what you guys, what encouragement you guys have yeah. in that area. Because I know and for me in small groups, I'm typically like, 
just the just thank you Jesus. Will mm-hmm. you just start with adding your voice right. in the yeah. smallest yeah. sense to our prayer? Yeah. Right. And it can grow from there. Yeah. I know that was something that I struggled with for a long time was praying out loud. Just a lot of fear, anxiety, insecurity about it. Just using my voice, what was going to come out, I don't know. Yeah. I remember even <laughs> when, you know, this was years ago, I went to a prayer meeting and it was me and the leader. And I said, oh, no, I'm going to have to pray. Like, he can't pray just over. I mean, he could, but like, or I can't remember, you know, he or she, whoever it was, was there. And I was like, I'm going to have to pray. And I remember thinking, similar to what you were saying, that if I don't pray, the en- enemy is winning. Mm-hmm. Like I, And it was about the people pleasing. And I think what's helped me is thinking, this is not about me mm-hmm. taking myself mm-hmm. out of it. Yeah. When I'm praying, when I'm praying for a person especially, that like, it's about them and what God wants to do yeah. in them. And when I'm listening, God, what do you want to mm-hmm. pray for this person? Mm-hmm. How can, how, maybe just pausing for a minute and thinking, how can I pray? Yeah. What do you want to use through me right. for this person? And a lot of it is just doing it. Just mm-hmm. continue mm-hmm. to do it. And like even, you know, Amanda was saying about you all, that doing it in the moment. Mm-hmm. When someone says, yeah. hey, I have this thing that's going on. Okay, I'll pray with you. Why not pray right then? Because right. yeah. then you're actually following through too. Yes. Yeah. But pray out loud with them. And I know I've been ins- encouraged so many times when someone, and it doesn't matter where they are in their faith, yeah. just praise mm-hmm. for yeah. me yeah. or praise. And it, just like their heart comes mm-hmm. out when yeah. we forget that it's not about us and mm-hmm. what we are saying yeah. it's about yeah. yes, God it's and what not. he's doing. That's so good. And I think that it it feels somewhat unnatural to talk to someone that you're not sitting in front of. You know, so I don't think it's it just doesn't feel natural, or at least it didn't when I was younger. Yeah. And it was, I'm doing a silent prayer tonight. Because <laughs> yeah, that was my MO. I'm in my head. When, yeah, I think that's actually what I said was, mm-hmm. I'm praying in my head. And you know what? My daughter does that mm-hmm. sometimes. Yeah. And there's been times where I have had to sit back and, and allow her to form her walk with the mm-hmm. Lord with prayer. And I immediately want her to start praying out loud. And she does sometimes, but... I don't want to push that Mm -hmm. because I want her to get comfortable with talking to God. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. there are times where, okay, Ava, we're praying over dinner. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You Mm -hmm. can pray. Mm -hmm. And I think that, like you said, it's, it sometimes is not a, a, thing that happens just like that. It's a Mm -hmm. journey. And Mm -hmm. when we pray it out loud, I feel like, at least for me, I feel like there's more power behind mm-hmm. what I'm saying because I'm not in just in my head. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of times, going back to what I said in the beginning, we get distracted. Yeah. And yeah. then it's all of a sudden now I'm like praying for this and then I pop my eye open <laughs> and I see something over there and then right. now I'm distracted yeah, and I don't right. even know what I'm praying. Yeah. So even if I go in my prayer closet or I'm driving in my car, you know, I have a a time years ago, my brother was in the military, and I just sensed that the Lord was saying, you need to pray for your brother. And I was driving in my car. I had my music going, but I turned that off, and I I completely turned off the, the music in the car. But every time I got in my car, probably for at least a month or two, I felt the Holy Spirit saying, turn the music off and pray for your brother. And he was in very dangerous situations, and I don't even know all of them. Some of them were in the news, you know, mm-hmm. and it's very scary. But I knew I needed to pray for him, and I felt that power when I prayed out loud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I heard what I was declaring yeah. over mm-hmm. my brother and mm-hmm. over the situations that I didn't even know. And that's another thing that I love about the Lord is when we pray, sometimes we don't even know what He's kept us from. Mm. There's things that when we pray, we'll never know right. what what he's kept us from. Yeah. And it's so encouraging. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that's so good. You know, praying out loud on our own yeah. actually helps us prepare to pray out loud with someone else, yeah. right? Like if yeah. we're not praying yeah. out loud by yeah. ourselves, we're definitely going to be nervous yeah. when I'm with a friend <laughs> and like I want to pray, but I'm nervous. Yeah. So like praying on your own is building yeah, up like those good. prayer muscles and that mm-hmm. prayer confidence, mm-hmm. you know, to yep. feel like I no, I ha- I have a relationship right. with the Lord. Mm-hmm. Whether you're here or not, it doesn't right. matter. Yep. My relationship with the Lord yeah. um, and talking to Him is part of who I am. Mm-hmm. And so, 
I would love to hear from y'all. I talked when I spoke a few weeks ago a little bit about like having a prayer plan, mm-hmm. like where, when, what, where are you mm-hmm. praying? When are you praying? What are you praying? You know, praying in the car all the time, yeah. praying wherever you're at is so important, but like also having designated yeah. time yeah. set mm-hmm. aside where I'm going to, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray through specific scriptures. I'm going to pray through specific prayer requests. Um, but having a plan, yeah. you know, I'd love to hear from y'all just a little bit about like, what does that look like in your life? Yeah. Um, I usually will do it in the morning. Either I read my Bible or I pray, but like I've actually designated I'm going to do this for a certain amount of time or this for a certain amount. Mm -hmm. And, you know, flexible, definitely. Um, What something that I've done, and this has probably been for years, which is basically like each day of the week, I designate a general group of people to pray for. Oh, that's cool. So, okay, my small group kind of this day Mm -hmm. or, and, Again, this changes, yeah. but just to have some kind of plan, plan. or some yeah. kind of focus. So then, whether it be in the morning or whether it be throughout mm-hmm. the day, I think like stacking habits, that's something yeah. I think yeah. atomic yeah. habits. Yeah, yeah. atomic habits. Yeah. But something that whenever I do this, I pray, like mm-hmm. wash the dishes, mm-hmm. I'm going to pray. Mm-hmm. Something where it triggers, like yeah. you say, yeah. like when I get into the car or yeah. something. Yeah. When like I when, things like um, that. My oldest is 16 now, but when he was little, and I had just two little kids. I don't know. I don't remember where I where I heard this idea. Some blogger probably. <laughs> but like I had taken note cards and written specific scripture prayers that I had one over the changing table. Yeah. I had one in the bathroom when oh, we were washing cool. hands. Yeah. I had one in the mm-hmm. kitchen when I was preparing. And I like it was to intentionally pray. Yeah. It was like six specific things mm-hmm. throughout every single day. Mm-hmm. I put them in front of me, you know? So like I love that. on yeah, our mirror, that on good. wherever it is, you know, I should do it again. Mm-hmm. But, um, <laughs> you know, there's certain things. Like I love that habit stacking. Uh, last year, the school my kids were in, I spent a ridiculous amount of time in car pickup lines because my kids were in three oh, different yeah. schools. <laughs> I had a book called Praying Scriptures for Your Children by Jody ben- uh, Jody. Burnt. Burnt. That's what it's called. Uh, she has praying scriptures for your teens, praying scriptures for your marriage. But I had the, uh, the praying scriptures for your children book um, in my car. Mm-hmm. And when I'm sitting there for 10 minutes a day, it has just, it actually has like scriptures with a yeah. fill in the blank. You can just put your kid's name in it and pray over every That's topic. Mm-hmm. Use the those pockets of time mm-hmm. that we often spend yeah. scrolling our phone or yeah. <laughs> wasting right. time. Right. And be intentional. Yep. Make a plan. Yep. You know, yeah. we can all find those things, those places, yep. and stack those habits. Yeah. Right. yeah. Some of mine is just like what you were saying with washing the dishes. One of my specifics is laundry. And, I, you know, because there's always <laughs> a lot of laundry. <laughs> and I will pray as I'm load mm-hmm. as I'm. As I'm folding the laundry, certain things over my children, my husband, myself, as I'm folding our laundry. And another thing is is the moment that my feet hit the floor, I'm praying. Mm-hmm. And more recently, I've been encouraged through church to pray the Lord's Prayer. And I really do want that to be something that I am doing. And then I start my children doing that. And, and then throughout the day, I... We'll pray for specifically my small group. You know, we Mm -hmm. take requests. and But I loved the idea that you were talking about every day having a different topic. That was really good. I liked that a lot. Yeah. I love that you said that about laundry because I have done that too. (laughs) Like, because you can just get really frustrated Mm -hmm. with laundry. And I have a couple of teenagers now who do their own laundry. And one of my teenagers (laughs) was recently grumbling about laundry. And I was like, listen, if you take that time while you're doing laundry— to pray and thank God that's for great. what yeah. you have and thank God that you have clothes and thank God for your family. Yeah, that's good. It won't be so frustrating. I got I got a pretty big eye. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it's in there. Yeah, it's yeah. That's right. That's right. right. I mean, it did, yeah. was not received in uh-huh. the uh, glorious <laughs> you know, revelation that I hope this is right, great. Right, right. But whatever. Okay, I'm, mom. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. I good. remember in college, because um, when I when I was walking to classes, there was so much time and you know, it dates me a little bit, but I didn't have like a smartphone at the yeah. time. <laughs> um, but I would, I loved it because I would, wa- I would pray yeah. every time I walked. So mm-hmm. even now, I feel like we can, we can do that. Those when we want to pick up our yeah. phone, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. we have a lot of dead space or time mm-hmm. or something. Just sit and pray about yeah. what's going on. You yeah. know, the, the things, but being intentional about being it. Intentional. And yeah. um, something that I found in the morning as well, when to keep distractions away because. Even if it's early and there's no one texting me, there's mm-hmm. nothing in the house, 
the thoughts of what yeah. do I need to do today. So something that I always have is a journal or a piece of paper that I'll just write the note. So yes. it's out of my head yes. yeah. and I can just set it aside. doesn't mean I need to do it right then. Mm -hmm. You know, that'll happen at, you know, eight, nine, 10 o'clock. <laughs> but right now, this is my time. I need to get it off right. of my mental get it out load. Of there or I won't, you know, yeah. I, will, I will want to yeah. follow that, yeah. you know, yeah. trail. Um, but removing those, anything that we can do is like, to remove those, to remove those distractions. distractions. Absolutely, I agree. I think having a prayer plan where we can remove mm -hmm. distractions, yeah. we can pray intentionally, whether that's choosing scriptures to pray mm -hmm. or choosing people to pray for yeah. or, you know, categories of people to pray mm -hmm. for throughout the day, um, praying for our families and things like that. I think that having those times can really help us build mm -hmm. a life of prayer. Yeah. And a life yeah. of prayer, you know, it, it results in this, that Fullness of peace that yeah, God promises. Absolutely. Back to that scripture at the beginning, the Philippian scripture. God, he's, his mm -hmm. promise is peace. His yeah. promise is that he's with us. He's yeah. promised that we are going to face hard things, mm -hmm. but he, we are not alone. Yeah. Yeah. And prayer is like how we move mm -hmm. through that. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So right. thank you both so much yes. for sharing today and just encouraging all of us. Um, with, with what you've learned in prayer yeah. and what God has taught you. And um, I pray that it is encouraging for yeah. everyone who listens. I know um, there's resources that you can find on our website. We have a resource of the month called Teach Us to Pray by Corey Russell. And I also mentioned those um, books by Jody Burnt mm -hmm. that are so helpful. Yeah. There's there's lots of different incredible prayer resources. If you're part of a live church and you, I would love for you guys to come to um prayer on Tuesday mornings at 7 a.m. You know, it's part of that prayer plan, that yeah, when, mm -hmm. where, what. We've mm -hmm. got a plan and we pray together. And yeah. it's a great place, actually, to start praying mm -hmm. with other people yep. because, you yep. know, we'll break into small right. groups for like just five minutes at a time sometimes. You get that opportunity to like build that prayer muscle to pray together with other people. And so, um, you know, we would love for everyone to come and be a part of that. So enjoy spending time with you on the podcast. You know, you can Email us at sisterhood at livefullyalive.com with any questions or topics you want to hear us talk about. Leave a message on um, YouTube or our Sisterhood Instagram. But we'd love to hear from you and we will see you next month.